This video outlines the basic principles of psychrometrics and the psychrometric chart. Please note, some of the concepts used in this video are advanced, and you should know heating and cooling basics before viewing this video. The areas we're going to cover today include Introduction Psychrometric Charts Psychrometric Examples and a Summary Introduction a psychrometric chart presents properties of air in a graphical format useful for troubleshooting greenhouse environmental problems. These are typical psychrometric charts. Psychrometric charts are available in various pressure and temperature ranges. Yours may differ from the examples here. With a psychrometric chart, you can determine the following properties. Dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, relative humidity, humidity ratio, dew point temperature or saturation, specific volume, Vapor pressure deficit, or VPD, and specific enthalpy, or energy content. Understanding psychrometric charts can help you visualize environmental control concepts, such as why heated air could hold more moisture, or how condensation happens when moist air cools. A psychrometric chart presents physical and thermal properties of moist air in a graphical form. As mentioned, the chart packs a lot of information into a very busy graph format. Wet bulb temperature and enthalpy use the same chart line, but values are read off separate scales. Outer edges of the psychrometric chart include a dry bulb temperature scale on the horizontal axis, a humidity ratio moisture content scale on the vertical axis, and an upper curved boundary which represents saturated air or 100% moisture holding capacity. This upper curved boundary of the chart has one temperature scale, but can represent three types of temperature wet bulb, dry bulb, and dew point. It also represents 100% relative humidity or saturated air. This example chart illustrates the various lines on the chart and how they interact, along with the previous diagram properties. Learning the shape and use of the psychrometric chart will help you diagnose many air temperature and humidity problems. Relative humidity in red is curved line displaying the percentage RH. Specific enthalpy, dark gray, kilojoules per kilogram of dry air. Specific volume, blue, cubic meter per kilogram of dry air. Wet bulb temperature, dotted gray. In the next section of the video, we go through several examples using these lines on the chart and how they can give you the various property values. Evaporative cooling uses heat in the air to evaporate water. Dry bulb temperature drops, while humidity rises to the saturation point. Evaporation is often used in hot weather to cool ventilation air process moves upward along the line of constant enthalpy or constant wet bulb temperature. Note that cooler air, located along the lower left region of the chart, will not hold as much moisture as seen on the y-axis humidity ratio as warm air, located along the right side of the chart. Typically inside a greenhouse during winter conditions, a 6 degree Celsius or 10 degree Fahrenheit rise in air temperature can decrease RH by 20%. The psychrometric chart shows how this works. For example, to decrease RH in a winter greenhouse during its critical time period, you would want to heat the air. The heated air, with its lower relative humidity, can be mixed with moist warm air already in the greenhouse. As fresh air moves through the environment, it will pick up additional moisture and heat before it reaches the ventilation system exhaust. You don't want to introduce cool air as that causes condensation on the plants. For the chart examples, we have given each property used a unique color, making it easier to follow along. Having two properties allows you to get the rest from the chart. Two very useful air properties are relative humidity and dew point temperature. Relative humidity is relative to temperature. VPD is important for growing healthy, high yield plants. It's closely linked to humidity, mostly relative humidity, and measures the difference between the pressure inside the leaf and the air outside. Relative humidity, or RH, is an indicator of how much moisture is in the air compared to desirable moisture conditions. And dew point temperature indicates when condensation problems would occur should the dry bulb temperature drop. VPD calculates the difference or deficit between the amount of moisture in the air and how much moisture the air can hold when it's saturated. If you start with a known dry bulb temperature of 25 degrees C and wet bulb temperature of 20 degrees C, you can then find other moist air properties using this information. Find the intersection of the two known properties, dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures, on the psychrometric chart, with dry bulb temperature located along the bottom horizontal axis. Wet bulb temperature is located along diagonal dotted lines leading to scale readings at the upper curved boundary marked saturation temperature. 
The intersection of the vertical dry bulb line and the diagonal wet bulb line has now established a state point for the measured air. Now read relative humidity as 63%, the curving line running from left to right up through the chart. Using this information, we can say that the relative humidity of 63% is acceptable for most greenhouse applications. If we allowed the air temperature, dry bulb, to decrease to the dew point or below, the air would be 100% saturated with moisture and condensation would occur. Specific enthalpy is calculated from the intersection of properties already on the diagram out to the enthalpy axis to the left of the chart. It is the energy in kilojoules per kilogram of dry air. Specific volume is calculated from the specific volume vertical lines where they cross the intersection of properties and is the space occupied by air. It is the increase of density and is expressed as a volume per unit weight, such as cubic meters per kilogram of dry air. The humidity ratio, as seen on the vertical y-axis scale, is a reliable indicator of air moisture level since it reflects the grams of moisture contained in a kilogram of dry air and does not fluctuate with dry bulb temperature readings as does relative humidity. And dew point temperature is 17.6 degrees C. Follow the horizontal line moving left towards the upper curved boundary of saturation temperatures. And to calculate the vapor pressure deficit, or VPD, draw a line from the intersection of properties moving right to the VPD y-axis to get the difference, or deficit, between the amount of moisture in the air and how much moisture the air can hold when saturated. For more information, contact Argus Support.